Today I'm going to be showing you three types of S12s that you can use for Megaminx. First of all, what is S12? S12, or second two layers, is the third step in solving the Megaminx, where after you solve your F12 pairs, you solve five other colors, and then you end up with your last layer. So there are three types of S12s. One is the Westland S12, the Yudashen S12, and then there's the Balanced S12. Each S12 method is really different from the other, so with that being said, let's start with the Westland S2L. -well. So Westland S2L is a type of S2L invented and used by Swedish speed solver Simon Westland. So it's actually really common. So it's actually the S2L -well that almost everyone uses. So we'll just solve a color. So for, for example, the green. Then you can solve either the red or the purple. On this one, we're doing the red. And I actually don't use Westland. I use another S12 that you, you, you norm, no, not everyone uses. And then we'll just solve the blue. Then got this. And this is when I, everything gets tricky. So to solve the yellow, I can just insert it. But then I have to solve the uh, purple, orange, yellow F12 pair. But I know that I will break apart the green. So I can just do some advanced trick like this. Then do that. And maybe I can just go on to the purple. So this and this. And then I'll just solve the final S12 pair. And then solve the last layer. Now I'm going to be showing you another S12. It's called the Yudahyun S12. Invented by and used by South Korean speed solver Yudahyun. So it's slightly different from Westland S12. It's actually the S12 that I use, so I can just solve any color, for example, the green. Then I'll just solve the purple. And this is when everything gets a bit different. So instead of moving on to another color, I solve the color that attaches these two colors. So in this case, the green and purple attach the cyan color. So I'll just solve the cyan. Then continue on S12. Then I'll just move on to the red without breaking apart any um, colors. And then I'll just solve the last F12 pair and then do last layer. And we don't do on the gray side, we'll do on another color that is not gray but borders the color gray. So in this case, I'm I'm going to be solving last layer on the color lime. The final S12 I'm going to be showing you is the Balant S12, used and invented by Hungarian speed solver Balant Bodor. It's pretty different from Yudahyun and Westland, and um, it's not that easy, especially if you are a beginner. So how we'll do Balant S12 is that we're going to be solving edge, corner edge blocks around the cube, right here. We're going to be doing that five times until we get like F12 slots here. It's pretty tricky. So I'll just start with the blue 
pink and red block. So I'll just look for the pink and red. And it's right here. Then I need to find the edge and corner that needs to go here. So it's this and this. I'll just bring it here. And I've created my first block. Now I'll skip this and go here. So I need the uh, black green edge, which is here. So I'll move it. And then I need to find the corner, which is already here, but unoriented. And the edge which is there. So I have to avoid breaking apart this or else I have to start all over. So I'll move this up. Then I'll bring the edge in this area. Then solve the F12 pair. There. Now I'll do the green, cyan, and purple. So I'll just insert the cyan purple. Then I need to find the corner and the edge. So, so there. Then I have to kick out these two without breaking. And then I'll just solve the F12 pair. So I'll do something like this. This is intuitive. Now for the fourth one, um, I'll just solve this. The orange, blue, and yellow. So for the edge, it's here, so I have to kick it out and insert it, and I have to find the edge in the corner. So the edge is here, and the corner is way back there, so I have to like kick it out, then just create a pair, and I'll move it out of the way, bring this up, like that. And for the final one, it is the yellow, lime, and blue. So, I'll find the um, edge that goes here. So, it's this, uh, no, this one, no, this one, insert it. Then I have to find the corner and the edge. So, this one and this one. I'll just have to join them. Then bring this up. And I'll probably do something like this. And we're done with uh, solving the uh, block. Now I'll just solve F12 like how we would on a 3x3. So this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And last but not least, this one. Then to solve last layer. So that is it for my video on the three S2Ls for Megamink. Uh, comment below which S2L you use. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And for some extras, I'll just show you three Megamink solve, one S different kind of S2L per solve. 